Hi guys, uh, welcome to Odd Alerts. This is the beta or the beta, whichever you prefer. I just wanted to walk you through the product, show you how easy it is to create alerts, um, give you a bit of insight into why I created it. It's a tool that I've used myself for about a month or so now. Um, obviously the pandemic didn't help, um, but it, it gave me time to actually uh, build it as more of a product than a, a simple tool. It was just um, a script at first that would uh, connect with Telegram and just send uh, messages to me personally. Um, so you open it up, uh, I've actually just created a new account and connected it to Telegram. If you click on the Telegram button, you have a status up here and it's really easy to connect to your Telegram. I'll just show you the process. You find the account Odd Alerts Bot and then you just send it the email that you registered with. So in this case it's tim at test.com. You send that email to the bot and it'll just get back to you saying, yep, you're all good, uh, you've been connected. So that's that. And you go back to the fixtures page. And you can change the date up here if you need to. Um, let's look at the games that are being played today. Let's look at this Leipzig game as I've got it up on Footy Stats. Uh, Footy Stats, if you've not come across it, is um, a website for stats on football. How about that? And I, I've actually worked on uh, Footy Stats, continue to work on it for, for about two and a half years, maybe more now. Um, I've worked on features like the match search, the team search, predictions page. Uh, just, yeah, I've been working on it for a while now as a, as a freelance developer. Um, and I personally use it anyway um, for, for my own research. And there's been times where I've found games that I would look at and think, okay, that, that's going to have goals in it or that's going to be a home win, but the odds have been so low or they're just not, they're just not worth it to, to bet on. Um, but then I'll look back at those same fixtures the next day and the ones where I thought there would be goals, there wasn't a goal until half-time. And there were still goals, but it took a little bit longer than you might expect. And, and whilst that happens, the odds are rising, um, but it's impossible to know, or it used to be impossible to know. Um, for me anyway, because I can't sit on live score all the time when there's games being played at every hour of the day and I, and I, I don't think it's a good idea for anybody to sit on Bet365 in play and just watch games and, and potentially um, and impulsively throw money at a game that you haven't done any research on. So Odd Alerts is meant to accompany your research. Um, so whilst I'm looking at bet, uh, sorry, at footy stats, I'll look at a game, let's take this example, uh, the Leipzig game, and the odds are quite low for over 2.5. They're actually pretty good for BTTS considering everything here. Um, so I will look at odd alerts, and we found that game already, and we can say, okay, tell me if there has been zero goals after 30 minutes. And that's, that's how you create an alert. It's as simple as that. And if we go to our alerts page now, there it is. Exactly zero goals after 30 minutes. And what Odd Alerts does is all the time it's looking at the, uh, the results, looking at the live scores, and it's just checking all of the alerts that are set against those matches. And if it matches, it'll, it'll ping your telegram and it'll just tell you exactly, hey, um, this game there's been exactly zero goals after 30 minutes. So it's very basic at the moment, um, and it works. It just works. I've been using it for about a month, as I said. And some of the things I want to build in, which I'm close to completing, you can check out on the roadmap, and I'll update this as I go. And I'll also update it as you send me feedback. Um, I won't put everything on here, but if, if a number of people actually start recommending the same thing, then there's a bit of a trend. It'll get added to the official roadmap. Um, so one of the biggest things that I'm, I'm looking forward to implementing is this live odds support. So taking the Leipzig game again as the example, the odds are quite low for over 2.5 goals. Um, but just looking at the stats, I mean, 100% of games for these two sides, home stats versus away stats, have seen two or more goals being scored. So it's it's quite likely, and given the position that uh, Dusseldorf find themselves in as well, they are going to have to go for this. So it's, it, it, it's probably going to be an open game. That's you know, nothing out of the ordinary for, for Leipzig then. Um, they've also drawn the last four, which is pretty weird, and each of those has been BTTS. Um, 
So going on uh, the live score example, so building in live score support, what that will allow you to do, rather than setting an alert based on just the number of goals or the result, you'll be able to say, tell me if BTTS is 1.8 or higher. Tell me if BTTS is evens or higher. Um, and that is when it becomes very, very powerful, actually. Um, I, I've done some early tests um, with corners, corner odds. And um, yeah, it, it's just great to have complete control over it on a per game basis. It, it feels like a really powerful tool. And it's still in, in its infancy. Obviously, this is the, the beta. Um, but I just want to get as many people testing it as possible. It's it's going to be free for at least a month or two, maybe even till the next Premier League season starts because I just want to get it right. And then um, it'll probably be like £4 a month or something just to cover the cost and just to ensure the motivation for me to actually keep working on it because there's people paying for it. Um, if it just gets put out for free, you know, where's the incentive for me to keep building on it? Um, because once it gets to a point and it works for me, then, you know, there needs to, needs to be this sort of, um, business model rambling a bit now, but, uh, yeah. So you connect your telegram, you can check the roadmap and you can see all of your alerts here. And as I said before, if it's, if it's, if it's matched, it'll put a tick on here and you'll have seen it anyway on your telegram. If the game is finished and the was, and the alert was never matched, it'll just say that it wasn't matched and it'll just fade away. So, yeah, please check this out um, if you're into, you know, researching football anyway and just see if you can find a bit more value with it. Um, it might be that 60 or 70% of the alerts you set don't match, but the ones that do because of the types of alerts you're setting are valuable. I hope that makes sense. So, yeah. Again, um, if you've got any feedback, send it over on Twitter or email joe at oddalerts.com. Thanks.